now we are in question number 41 so uh, we will see here because 41 is a new question type uh, that is the capital adjustment okay so uh, i think now you know how to calculate uh, new ratio and gaining ratio okay so for that you need to uh, read questions also sometimes not sometimes but all time in fact anyway so revaluation you know this already okay so our main uh, problem area or the concern area is partners capital account okay so i will be focusing only on partners capital account okay and uh, few things to be discussed in the balance sheet as well anyway so let us start with uh, the partners capital account and i think you know this already okay so whoever is the retiring partner uh, you have to first find uh, his share of goodwill and that share of goodwill will be uh, borne by the gaining partners as per their gaining ratio okay so let us start by balance bd you take it out from the balance sheet okay by profit and loss account it is already mentioned in the liabilities column okay as per the old ratio and again we have uh, profit on revaluation old ratio and for this 5700 we have to do the uh, adjustment through gaining ratio of the gaining partners who are p and r okay so you do the adjustment here okay and whatever is the amount uh, to be paid to first of all you know uh, what after writing all the items here in the capital account you you just make the payment to q okay because it is in, mentioned in the question that q was paid uh, the entire amount okay so make the payment to the uh, retiring partner okay make the payment or uh, transfer his uh, amount to be paid in his loan account okay just uh, get rid of this retiring partner first then after that you can uh, think about the remaining partners later okay so uh, till now we have uh, written that uh, 20000 i mean by balance bd by profit and loss okay by uh, profit on revaluation and we did the uh, adjustment for goodwill okay so you can see here and we made the payment to q also the retiring partner okay so after that what what next how this uh, balance cd will come and how this bank account is coming so for that we need to look at the question in the question it is mentioned that q was to be paid through cash brought in by p and r in such a way uh, as to make their capitals proportionate to their new profit sharing ratio uh, which was uh, as it is mentioned okay so how do we find the capital that is the main concern of this particular section okay and here in this question, uh, we have uh, seen that uh, this uh, adjustment is made uh, done by bringing in the cash. Okay, sometimes it can be like uh, you withdraw the amount of cash also sometimes or this adjustment can be made through uh, current account also. Okay, so depending upon the situation, you do that. This will be mentioned in the question, don't worry. You have to read the question and the question will guide you regarding this okay how you have to make the adjustment anyway so how to do that we have to make a working note so first of all uh, you calculate adjusted capital of p i mean uh, adjusted capital of the remaining partners okay who are continuing in the business so p and r so you can see the amounts here towards the credit side twenty thousand fifteen hundred and two thousand okay so I have written again the same thing 20,000, 1,500 and 2,000 from credit side. Okay. Now look at the debit side of P. It is 1,900 minus, right? So minus 1,900. You will get the amount 21,600. Okay. I have highlighted in this bold. Okay. So this is the adjusted capital of P, 21,600. Okay. You know this uh, uh, from uh, previous uh, chapter also, admission. Anyway. So now let us find the adjusted capital of R also, 10,600, 800 plus minus 3,800. Have a look here. Okay. So now you get this about 5,600. Okay. Now uh, we are making payment 
okay we are making uh, whatever the payment is to be done to queue okay you have to add it here okay add the amount amount to be paid to queue 17800 add here and what is the total amount 45000 and this 45000 should be shared between the remaining partners as per their new profit sharing ratio the new profit sharing ratio is 3 is to 2 so share the amount uh, okay 45000 it will be 27000 and 18000 right now write the amount 27000 18000 okay so after that you can do this also okay you made this particular section or not it depends upon you okay you may or may not do this particular section i have uh, shown you here uh, this uh, sorry uh, i subtracted uh, 21600-227000 uh, here it should be 27000 minus 21600 then it will be 5400 it is a positive figure uh, okay so always subtract uh, from the new capital this adjusted capital okay always subtract adjusted capital from new capital okay 27000 minus 21600 it will be 5400 and 18000 minus 5600 it will be 12400 okay so this is how you come to know that which side it will appear so or or else what you can do is you find the amount right new capital 27000 and 18000 now just put the amounts here to balance cd this is the balance cd here in previous questions what used to happen we had to calculate the amount of cd but in this question we are already finding the amount of cd so write the amount of cd here 27000 18000 now do the total here what will be the total total will be 28900 uh, uh, obviously total of this side will be more right so whatever is the deficit out here right just write the amount 5400 and it will be by bank account again find the total it will be 21800 obviously debit side is more so find the total okay i mean uh, subtract this uh, item and write the amount 12400 okay so this is how we do this calculation this is the main part this is the main part of this particular uh, kind of question okay now in the balance sheet i want to explain here that uh, this uh, cash was already 2000 okay so p will bring 5400 uh, r will bring 12400 and uh, q will uh, get amount 17800 so he will be paid so uh, in fact in fact uh, uh, in order to pay to uh, q and maintain the capital uh, of the new firm p and r will bring in extra cash okay 70 uh, okay 17800 so if you do the total of this it will be 17800 okay uh, some of you may find this 17800 as per their new profit sharing ratio also don't do that uh, it will not be as equal as as it is okay you have to go through this process there is no shortcut here okay some of you may think that oh 17800 uh, p and r they have to bring in then why not we find as per the new ratio or the getting ratio no 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 you don't have to do uh, like you did uh, that way you will not reach the answer okay this is only the procedure you have to follow that procedure there is no shortcut here there is only one one way or one method one route and this is the process you have to follow this process otherwise you will not reach the answer okay so here in this particular question we have made the adjustment through bank account uh, in some other questions it can be current account also okay we will see in further questions